Hey everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint. In this video, we're just going to be unboxing Marvel's new Crisis Protocol. And this is by Atomic Mass Games. I am super, super, super actually excited to unbox this. I'm not even sure I'm ever going to play this game. It's a miniature game. It's like a skirmishy few characters versus a few characters complete some objectives wargaming style so I may, I may never paint this but i'm super ex uh, may never play this but i am super super excited to paint this just to mention there will be a link in the description below to pick this up from element games which do deliver worldwide and they're reasonably reasonably priced so especially if you're in the uk because it can, you can get free shipping and stuff like that so please do click that link if you're thinking about picking up this game because it will be an affiliate link and i'll earn a teeny tiny amount of money to no cost to you. Anyway, guys, the reason I'm mostly excited for painting this is because I know a little bit about Marvel. I've, you know, I've seen a few movies. I'm aware of the MCU. I've seen Batman. I've seen Superman versus Batman. I've seen Superman and his friend league thing. So I might actually know some of the characters in the game. So do take one minute, stop, Leave me in the comments below how many of the characters you think I will name correctly. No, correctly. There are 10 characters in this game, and I will definitely name them all, whether they're right or wrong. We'll see, but leave that in the comments below now, and then let's let's unbox it. Let's see what's inside this. This is the core set, I should mention. That, that's relevant, because there's going to be expansions for this game. I think they're talking about bringing out an expansion every month, so let me rip this off. Save you guys some ears for the wrapping coming gundam. But yeah, I think they're bringing out an expansion, like a character for the game every single month. I don't know how long that'll last, but that's pretty exciting. Ten in this game. Let's see what else. So you get first presented with this Learn to Play book. Oh, good, good, good. I was about to panic, because this is really thick. It's 45 pages long, but I could see straight away it's going to show you how to build some of the miniatures. Now, I thought they came pre-assembled. They can't because there's assembly diagrams, so that's news to me. I'm glad I did this unboxing. Then there's some pictures, some reference art by the look of it, so good. But I mostly know how these characters will be painted, you know. The, this isn't a made-up game. Well, it is a made-up game. But there's plenty of material, reference material under it in the form of the comics and the movies and stuff like that. So I'm, that's one of the reasons I'm super excited to paint this. I know these characters. So, yeah, learn to play. Did we actually see how long that was so it's explained some of the characters that looks like background between them well i won't spend too long seeing the names there just in case you think i'm cheetah cheetah spaghetti eater uh but basically the rules go to there so 29 pages loads of pictures in there as well though diagrams and stuff so fair bit to learn hopefully not too much again it's going to ruin it by showing me everything but you get the character cards i'm guessing with their abilities on and a load of symbols which i guess you have to learn in the in the learn to play then like most games, and I think like the Games Workshop skirmishy objective-based games come with millions of tokens as well these days. So here we go, a million of tokens. So it's actually only two sheets, so there's not that many, and there's quite a lot of rep 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 repeated ones, aren't there? So there's not too many symbols to learn there, but a couple of boards of that. And then we get the stuff. So the first thing I am noticing here is there's no uh, insert. There's no insert. These are just in baggies. So that's... That's, again, I'm getting used to that with the Games Workshop stuff I'm painting. So whether you can buy an insert or buy a box or you keep the miniatures in a different place, I might actually just keep mine on the shelf because I'm basically getting this game just to paint the cool-looking Marvel miniatures. And honestly, guys, I had not realised this needed assembling. This is absolutely brand new news to me. I thought I was just going to show you some miniatures. Wrong! Now, this looks like you're getting some scenery. This is a street lamp. Probably put it on one of these bases traffic lights get a couple of sets of those this looks like the makings of a building that looks like a window doesn't it and the daily boogle boogle bugle oh god my wife's gonna have a field trip on me saying that wrong for the millionth time but yeah building you get to build up that looks like a character i'll leave that for a second character character another sort of building in there it's got wheels so this is one of the cars you can build up so there's loads of scenery in this game to, to build up a battlefield a battle arena an objective based missiony mappy thing so here's a car it looks like two cars because there's four eight wheels and a bit more building so building you get to build some bases for some of the miniatures you get some dice look at that d8 a bunch of d8s with different symbols on so that'll be involved in the gameplay. And then you get some cards of these double, no, they're not double wrapped, they're just in a baggy. Let's have a quick flick. What are these? These look like scenario setups, aren't they? Setups and how you score and win. Get a bunch of them. One, two punch, some sort of action card. 
and the Avengers. Oh, it's a list of all their names there again. It's just wanting me to know the names, but as soon as the miniatures aren't built, I think we're not going to have as much fun as I, I thought with that. So I'm probably going to have to build some of these up to give them a spin at the end just so we can see what they're like. But I do, I think I'm preferring building my miniatures. It adds a, a, a level of fun there. It's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. And then it just ends up with your miniatures not having as many mold lines, being a bit higher quality, that sort of stuff. This has got to be Captain America. See, I knew I'd, I'd wow you with the fact I know one of the characters at least. Uh, yeah, loads of characters. So I think, I think I'm think i going to have to go and build them so we can have a look at at least one or two of them. But bear with me. and I'll see how I feel about building them all by at the end of cut. Oh, it's going to take me so long to cut them all out. That is one of the negatives we're building. Just I can't do this video as fast as, fast as I'd have wanted just because of that. But yeah, I, th I think we need to see them build, don't we? So I'll go and do that. Right, guys, just before you get to the spins of the miniatures, which you're probably all super excited to see, I've been away, I've actually built all of these. Probably took five, six hours, took quite a lot to build, but pretty happy with it. Just wanted to give a quick sort of review, I guess, on the the miniatures, I guess, and, and, and building them. So I started with Marvel. She's the first one in the, the instructions to build, and I would advise don't start with this one. She's one of the fiddliest ones, and it put me off, and I just wanted to bin the box, and I was crying, why did I buy this game? I think she was quite tricky to build. Her forearm and a bicep are separate pieces her body's then separate from that same on both sides it's just like look how small her, her forearm is compared to how fat my hand is so i think it was just super difficult to build but then i went on to spider-man afterwards and he's super easy and all my faith was restored in the game and then and then this dude's really easy as well now quality wise i'm actually super impressed like they look great. Look at the detail work. It's very Games Workshop-esque, where a bit less is more, I think, where it's got just enough detail that this is going to paint and look amazingly good. Not so much detail. It's just like lumps and bumps everywhere. That's just going to be super difficult to paint up and, and you know, start looking a bit poor. But this these, these are great. I think, look at this one. Look at him. I just think that's absolutely fantastic quality. I'm really impressed. And that is one of the benefits of building the miniatures yourself. There's no mold lines. There's a little bit of scrapes that you need to file down, but that's quite smooth, although you can see a bit of whiting. Once that's painted up, it's going to completely disappear, same on his hands. And there's just no there's no mold lines. Now, having said that, there are gaps. Not on all of them, and as I got better, this was the first one I did, and this was the second. As I got better, as I went through, less and less gaps were there, but some of them were unavoidable. I, even even by the end, there was a couple, and I probably have about 10 gaps total, and I think four of them are sort of on Marvel here. Like, look at that. That's, I mean, I think that's probably my mistake, but it was just that fiddly. Whereas her body, like, there's not a lot I could do. I pressed it together as hard as I could, and there was still a gap. So I'm going to go around and do a bit of green stuff, but it's not going to take too long, and that's going to smooth that over. Um, Spider-Man was much, much easier to join together, but again, look at that gap. His legs just pulled apart as the glue set. A little bit tricksy, but, you know, it's, it's maybe amateur me. Just take a little bit more time and... I think you'll be in a better position, but I just thought I'd point that out that the, the gaps are there, but these are by far the worst two that I did. Most of the others have got next to none, and then you could see like this guy, I don't think there's anything to fix up on him really, and it's looking fantastic. So that's sort of the quality wise, I think. Oh, another thing to mention is the scale. These are quite big. I hadn't realized like zombie side ends here normally, so they're twice the size of zombie side. Gives you a lot of area to work with. It'd be a lot easier to paint up, I think. So I'm quite excited to paint these. Hopefully you guys are too. As for the tools that I used, just mentioned that because I went through a few processes you want a pair of nippers, I, I have the Citadel ones and the Red Grass Games ones. I'll leave affiliate links in the description below. If you need to pick up a quality pair of nippers, I'd recommend either of these. I was trying them out to see which is better, and they've both got pros and cons. These are way, way, way more comfortable. If you get achy cutting out lots and lots of sprues, this is more comfortable. And if you want to cut really, really close to your miniatures, this these get closer. Now that's good and bad. You probably shouldn't be cutting right up to the miniature anyway. You want to sort of file it down, cut it down afterwards, because I did make a mistake and cut off some of Captain America because I got too close. These are won't get that close. They're like 0.2 millimeters away. So there's always a little bit of tidying up to do, but you're not going to accidentally cut 
piece that you miniature off and then they're just way more comfortable they're effortless 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 and these are exhausting to keep using they just have so much friction and they're slippy as well if you're like me and you've got quite clammy hands <laughs> bleh, then they're just sliding off the metal but it wasn't just me as a joke i just said to my wife have a, have a go with these she dropped them as soon as she squeezed them so amateur amateur hour so either one both of these are, are the nice those some of the nicest nippers i've used some of the bits are super small and fiddly so get yourself a pair of tweezers i use these army painter ones because they look amazing and they work bing 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 and then i used super glue for a while and then i thought i'd try out army painters plastic glue and this was a huge improvement i think it makes it a lot easier to work with it's sort of tack tacky so as soon as you start putting it together they kind of just stick now they're not going to be glued for ages it takes quite a long time to dry i think that was my experience of it but they're held together almost instantly so you're not having to hold it for ages and balance it all together it sort of just sticks it lightly and then it sets over time now obviously let us know in the comments below if you've got any better suggestions than that because this is some of my first assembly line stuff but i tried a bunch of my equipment a bunch of my stuff and this is what i settled on as the best for building these miniatures so far so anyway guys let's get on to looking at the miniatures have a look have, enjoy the spin just one more thing i completely forgot under under the insert the cardboard insert of the box rattle 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 there was all the the, the tools for measuring distances for for how far your character can move and how far they can shoot range weapons and stuff and then i just i just thought i'd mention this because it was hidden away and you guys might care because you don't need to use a tape measure they come with these pieces and they some of them click together i don't know if this is exactly right but here's one i guessed earlier and clicked together and it gives you this bend so you can sort of work out if you can go round corners run round corners or shoot round corners if they can shoot round corners that sort of stuff and it it's kind of cool and curved here so it, it lines up alongside the the edge of the miniature but i just wanted to make sure you guys knew these were in the box and now we're on to the moment you've all been waiting for the spinning so you guys can look at the miniatures but also so you can hear me name every single one of these characters last chance to leave it in the comments below pause it now let me know how many i'm going to get right and you've already heard i know this is captain marvel i've seen the movies guys i cannot miss it um that's all i know about i didn't even know she existed before the movie next up is her brother captain america i think he's basically he's the same right but he's just captain of america and captain marvel is the captain of the entire franchise uh, captain of the comic book i think captain of the company so pretty easy miniatures looking great though just enjoy the miniatures and i'm just going to ramble as we go through next is bane batman's arch nemesis i think or one of his one of his arch nemesis a villain from batman of very obviously bane can't forget him it's good good batman movie that one good one solid one but yeah he's a, he's a nice looking fella that mask is two, two pieces you have to glue his face onto his helmet this guy spider guy spider man we know this one, easy, easy peasy. You're going to have to pull out some more difficult characters for me not to know them. And again, this this guy looks sweet. Other than those gaps that I've got to fix, I'm really happy with that miniature. It's probably going to be one of the first I paint. Next is his enemy, Dr. Doctor Tentacles. Doesn't sound right. Something like that, though. Dr. Armies, Dr. Whatever. Anyway, he's, he's nice. He's a lot bigger than the the other guys i think two of the characters are much bigger based and he was really tedious to build there's a lot a lot of pieces but he looks sweet by the end iron man yes probably the first marvel character i ever saw thanks to the movies it's all movies guys i don't read comic books i don't read books so unless the movies have told me i don't know anything about it but there's iron man i'm not massively looking forward to painting that one he's going to be very very metallic i think he's a big metal robot right this is iron man pro i think this is the pro edition He's, he's much, much bigger, for one. He comes on a bigger base. He's a bigger model. And I think maybe he's got some big gaps in his thighs there. I couldn't quite tell if it wanted to spread apart because I thought it might look quite cool as a big robot. It's just the join in his in his armor, but it's maybe supposed to have been pulled in tighter, but it didn't. This is Robot Zorro, or that guy from the purple guy from, uh, from the Avengers movies wearing a fur coat for some reason and wielding a sword. I don't know who this guy is, and I don't even know that guy's name in the Avengers movie with the power stone, our stone in his head. This is Black Widow. Everyone knows Black Widow. And it it makes me question why different grades of superheroes exist. She just feels like she's considerably weaker than everybody else and don't really understand her existence. But I know who it is. Again, thanks to the movies, nice one movies. And 
last but not least, this is Skeletor on his way to a business meeting by the look of it. He's dressed up fairly smartly. Uh, hopefully he'll get that job. He's carrying a Rubik's Cube. He is a Rubik's Cube master, but this is one of the best quality miniatures, I think, in, in the whole box. I think it glued together really well and look forward to painting this guy. And then I'm just gonna show you some of the, the furniture, some of the scenery. This is the, the big office of the Daily Bugle. And this this clicked together really well. Um, it's it's massive, guys. That's going to be really. That's like almost going to be worse than a dragon for myself to paint. Those marks on it was just glue. I got too much glue on it, so be careful when you glue them. You get a couple of cars in the box, so I did. You actually get the option to do them both as taxis, but I just did one as a plain car, stuck a taxi sign on the other just to add a little bit of variety. Not looking forward to painting those. Either. I think the glass will be difficult. Leave me some tips in the uh, comments below if you've got any ideas how to do that and then you've got a little bit more furniture two lamps two traffic lights two big bins and a teeny tiny little dustbin garbage bin trash can as you might say and that's it guys pretty excited to paint this let me know in the comments below what you would like to see first painted and let me know if you've got the game i'd like to know who out there is also going to be painting this thank you all ever so much for watching see you again soon